Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing the Etude House Fresh Cut Modeling Mask first impression review for you guys. So it comes in three different flavors, and I got the strawberry, which is supposed to help replenish moisture of dry skin and delivers brighter and smoother skin. So the first thing they recommend is to cleanse your face and apply toner, and toner helps to absorb the mask better. And I'm using the Tony Moly Intense Care Snail Essence. And after that, I'm going to do the mask. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up obviously and then I'm going to fill the water up up to the mark line and I was being really careful when I put water into the cup and as you can see I use a water bottle don't worry it's clean water so I try to fill it up as slowly as I could because I don't want to go over the line and as you can see the texture felt a bit hard and thick so I decided to add a bit just a little tiny bit more of water so that the texture will turn into a smooth texture and not lumpy at all and should turn out like that and then I applied it onto my cheek, my chin, my forehead and my nose, basically everywhere around my face. And apparently you need to make sure they apply thickly around the edges. And I thought that I did do it really thick, you'll see the result later. But yeah, just pile it up as much as you can because there's a lot of remaining left in the cup anyway. But yeah, I thought I did, I put a lot, but I guess... I didn't and yeah tip number one wear a headband because it makes so much mess around my hair and I just showered and cleansed my face so yeah and I, I decided to take off my nose pierce as well because it was bugging me and yeah so yeah tip two apply thickly and I try to apply it above my lips as well since there's lots of remaining and now I'm just leaving it for 10 to 5 minutes and I could see there are white edges appearing around the edges of the mask and 15 minutes later the mask turned really hard and rubbery and apparently it's supposed to peel off from the bottom I struggled a little because I didn't put enough on the edges but I managed to peel it off but not in one go in two goes so I just took my time and it doesn't hurt at all so yeah and it's very rubbery like what Morgan from Beauty Breakdown says is a bit you know rubbery she tried a different mask but um, I decided to try this one out for you guys it is definitely a very interesting texture and it didn't um, feel painful on my face or itchy at all but I did get a reaction and you guys will see it very very soon so basically the mask will show all my small wrinkles especially around my forehead and as you can see all the small holes are actually my pores and the bigger holes are not my pores but actually the air that managed to went into the mask while I applied the mask on which means that apparently I didn't apply the mask smoothly but I thought I did but yeah it felt like the mask like printed and photocopied how my skin looked like and onto the mask because I could see every single detail and then after it was recommended not to wash the residual with water but toner so I'm using the skin food broccoli toner to remove all the residue and as you can see that um, I reacted to the mask sadly and you can see all the red spots around the edges of my face and around my eyebrow area where the mask was at sadly and I decided to go for a shower as well to remove the residue on my hair and the red stuff is still on my face it didn't hurt me at all and doesn't feel itchy at all but yeah it lasted for a night and the next morning it all disappeared so I was really happy it didn't stay it didn't hurt me it didn't itch me but I didn't like it so I would rate this 5 out of 10 and here are the reasons why so I hope you guys enjoyed this review thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time bye